Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an important question for anyone using Let's Encrypt and CertBot. Our viewer is curious about how to manually test the CertBot renewal process. They have a working setup, but want to ensure that the renewal will function smoothly in production. With Let's Encrypt certificates lasting only 90 days, they wonder if there's a way to shorten that lifespan to just 10 minutes for testing purposes. They're also open to alternative methods to verify that their renewal code works without the long wait. Let's dive into this topic and explore some effective solutions. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. To manually test the CertBot renewal process, we can use the Let's Encrypt staging environment. This allows us to issue certificates that are valid for a shorter period. First, you need to configure CertBot to use the staging server. You can do this by adding the dash staging flag when you run CertBot commands. Next, to simulate a shorter certificate lifespan, you can use the CertOnly command with the staging server. This will allow you to test the renewal process without waiting for 90 days. If you want to further verify the renewal process, you can check the logs generated by CertBot. They will provide insights into whether the renewal was successful. Finally, remember to switch back to the production environment after testing. Remove the NAS staging flag to ensure you are using valid certificates. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To manually test the CertBot renewal process, you can use the command CertBot Renew Force Renewal. This forces the renewal of your certificate, even if it's not close to expiring. The Nash Force Renewal option also implies Bash Expand which means it will renew the certificate for the requested domains. This is useful for testing purposes. For more details on configuration, you can visit the CertBot documentation at the provided link. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.